always open the last week of September to a Halloween. So it's basically like a five week deal. And we got what, different varieties of pumpkins? Gourds, squash, Indian corn, all the kind of fall decorations people like. Everything is basically for Halloween. We bought the land in 1990, so we were doing it 13 years. We started as a hobby, and we thought it would be something we can do when we retire from our regular jobs, but now it's almost beyond a hobby. We've been married for 38 years, and when we started the pumpkin patch, we had three boys. For a long time, it was the whole family doing it. They're all married now. The youngest grandchild will be two in December. The one that's going to be three in November, he probably would say that he works here. <laughs> They ride along with me in the tractor, and they pick gourds, and they help the cab register. The nine-year-old can make change. <laughs> <laughs> we just got the idea that it would be fun for us to do. I don't think we ever realized how much work it would be. When we bought the land, it was just bare land, and that was really a struggle. It takes all year. I mean, we had to start ordering seeds for next year, soil test, fertilizer, plant in the spring. The rest of the year, we start a lot of seeds and make plants in the greenhouse and then we set them out in the field. And a lot of those seeds, if it rains real hard right after you plant them, they might rot. It's so weather dependent. And our pumpkins got really bad the last few weeks. They were just falling apart. It froze three, four weeks ago. Frost sometimes will start to cause a little problem. Insects were a problem this fall. It wasn't the year that we normally would have. We continue to do it because we like seeing the people that come. We're getting tons of business because we don't charge as much. One dollar pile, and the dollar ring goes over them. So it depends on the size of the pumpkin. We spend a lot of time going through seed catalogs and trying to find things. And these dried gourds are a big deal. I had some that I had that were a little bit more football shaped. And I drew like Packer symbols on them and made them look like a football, and people bought them. So many people will say, we've been coming here for 20 years, and they come back every year. We always look at each other at the end of the season and say, what do you think? Are we going to do it again next year? I would miss it if we didn't do it. We just kind of wanted it to be a fun family thing. We want to involve our, our children and our grandchildren in it. Something they can work together and enjoy. And it's been a real pleasure having them help us. And now with the grandsons, they'd be devastated if we quit. <laughs>